Hello mga math aaral! Welcome to my Taglish Step-by-Step Math Video Tutorial. In this video, I am going to discuss linear equations in two variables. What is linear equations in two variables? Linear equations in two variables is an equation that can be written in the standard form ax plus by equals c, where a and b and c are real numbers, but a and b cannot both be zero. The equation x minus y equals 5 is an example of linear equation in two variables because it is expressed in the form ax plus by equals c, where a now is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to positive 5. Likewise, the exponent of the variables x and y are both equal to 1, which define a linear equation in two variables. Let's have an activity. Activity 1. Is that me? This activity will help you understand whether an equation can be written in the standard form ax plus by equals c. For example, 3x minus 4y plus 7 equals 0 is a linear equation in two variables. It can be written as ax plus by equals c as 3x minus 4y equals negative 7. So our a here is 3, our b is negative 4, and our c is negative 7. Why negative 7? Because positive 7 here is transposed to this side. So, positive 7 became negative 7. So, for the instruction, put a check mark on yes if it can be written as ax plus by equals c and no if cannot be written. So, these are now the equations. First equation, 5x equals 12y. So, to rewrite this in the form ax plus by equals c, we need to transpose 12y to this side. Dapat andito siya sa left side ng ating equal sign. So, the solution is 5x, yung 12y, itranspose ko, magiging negative 12y equals 0. So, we have now 5x minus 12y equals 0. As you can see, it is written now as ax plus by equals c. Thus, our answer is yes. And it is a linear equation in two variables. Next, number 2. 3x minus y minus 6 equals 0. So, our a here is 3, our b is negative 1, and our c must be written on this side. So, yung negative 6 natin ay dapat andito sa right side. So, pag nilagay natin siya sa right side, magiging positive 6. So, we have now 3x minus y equals c. As you can see, it is written now as ax plus by equals c. Thus, the answer is yes. And it is a linear equation in two variables. Next, number 3. 3y equals 9. So, as you can see, there's only one variable here, which is y. We don't have the x variable. Thus, 
we cannot rewrite this into ax plus by equals c because we don't have x. So, the answer is no. Number 4. 12x plus 3y equals 3x minus 6. So, as you can see, there is a variable x here on the right side of the equation. We need to transpose this 3x to the left side of the equation. So, pag transpose natin yung positive 3x, magiging negative 3x. So, meron na tayo dito na 12x minus 3x, so it is 9x plus 3y equals negative 6. Thus, the answer is yes. It is written as ax plus by equals negative 6 or our c. And the last, 4x minus 1 equals 0. So, as you can see, there's only one variable. Thus, our answer is no. It cannot be written as ax plus by equals c because we don't have the y variable. Thus, it is not a linear equation in two variables. Let's solve activity number two. What is it? So, for the directions, determine whether or not each equation illustrates a linear equation in two variables. If so, identify the values of A, B, and C. So, for the illustrative example number one, we have 4x equals 8 plus 2y. Solution. Express the equation into standard form ax plus by equals c. So, our given is 4x equals 8 plus 2y. So, 2y here must be transposed to the left side of the equation. So, positive 2y becomes negative 2y. So, we have now 4x minus 2y equals 8. So, since 4x is equal to 8 plus 2y can be expressed in the form ax plus by equals c as 4x minus 2y equals 8. Therefore, it is a linear equation in two variable. Where a now is equal to positive 4, our b is negative 2, and our c is positive 8. Let's have illustrative example number 2. y equals 5x plus 9. So, for the solution, express the equation into standard form ax plus by equals c. The given is y equals 5x plus 9. So, to make it ax plus by equals c, we need to transpose 5x to the left side of the equation. So, transposing 5x now to the left side of the equation, it will become negative 5x plus y equals 9. From the definition, our ax must be positive. So, since our ax here is negative, we need to multiply both sides by negative 1. So, as you can see, I multiply negative 1 to negative 5x plus y and negative 1 to positive 9. So, multiplying now negative 1 times negative 5x equals positive 5x. Then, negative 1 times positive y equals negative y. And, 9 times negative 1 equals negative 9. So, as you can see, our ax now is positive. So, since y is equal to 5x plus 9 can be expressed into ax plus by equals c as 5x minus y equals negative 9, it is a linear equation in two variables. Where a now is 5, our b is negative 1, and our c is negative 9. 
Illustrative example number 3. 3x squared minus y equals 9. So as you can see, the exponent of x is 2. In the definition of linear equation in two variables, the exponent of x and y must be equal to 1 only. Thus, this is not a linear equation because the exponent of x is 2. Illustrative example number 4. 3 over x plus y equals 20. As you can see, our variable x appears in the denominator. Thus, this is not a linear equation because a variable appears in the denominator of a fraction. Illustrative example number 5. xy equals 15. So as you can see, our xy here is written as a single term. Hindi po siya pinaghiwalay ng plus or minus sign. So, wala po tayong ax plus by. Thus, this is not a linear equation because the two variables are part of the same term. Let's have the last illustrative example. Negative 2y equals negative 6x plus 12. So, for the solution, we transpose negative 6x to the left side of the equation. Dapat andito siya sa ating left side ng ating equal sign. So, we have negative 6x transpose to the left side, it will become positive 6x. Then, copy negative 2y equals our 12. Thus, since negative 2y is equal to negative 6x plus 12, can be expressed into ax plus by equals c as 6x minus 2y equals 12. Therefore, it is a linear equation in two variables, where a now is positive 6, our b is negative 2, and our C is positive 12. Let's have the last activity. Complete me. For the directions, we have illustrate that the following are linear equations in two variables by filling up the table below. So these are now the equations. Then we're going to express these equations into standard form ax plus by equals c. Then after that, we're going to write the value of our a, b, and c. And then answer the question, is it a linear equation in two variables? Yes or no. So the first equation is 3x equals negative y minus 8. To express this into standard form, we need to transpose negative y to the left side of the equation. So we have now 3x plus y equals negative 8. Thus, the value of our a, b, and c here is a equals positive 3. Our b is positive 1. Then, our C is negative 8. Is it a linear equation in two variables? Yes. Why? Because it is expressed in the standard form AX plus BY equals C. Next equation, we have 6X plus 4Y equals 4X minus 6. To express this in standard form, we need to transpose 4X on the left side of the equation. So transposing now positive 4x to left side of the equation, it will become negative 4x. So 6x minus 4x is equal to 2x. Then copy positive 4y equals negative 6. 
Thus, the value of our ABC in this equation is A is equal to 2 and B is equal to positive 4 and our C is negative 6. Is it a linear equation in two variables? Yes. Why? Because we express it in standard form AX plus BY equals C. And the last we have 9 times the quantity X minus 1 equals 2Y. Simplifying this, we have now 9 times X is equal to 9X. Then 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. The negative 9 must be transposed to this side so it will become positive 9. And positive 2y transpose it to the, this side on the left side of the equation, it becomes negative 2y. So we have 9x minus 2y equals 9. Thus, the value of our ABC are 9 is the value of A, then negative 2 value of B, and our C is positive 9. Is it a linear equation in two variables? Yes. Why? Because it is expressed in standard form AX plus BY equals 9. Thank you everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, follow, and like my YouTube channel. Until next time, God bless!